the front end only users plugin comes with a PHP class so that you can take advantage of all of the plugin's data inside of your theme functions and templates. To get started, you need to create a new class object. To do that, you use the command FUP equals new FUP user, as shown on the screen below. Once that's done, there are a number of methods provided within the class. One of the most used methods is the isLoggedIn method, which returns true if a visitor is logged in and false if the visitor isn't. You can use that to change everything about your site depending on whether a user is logged in or not. In the code example below, we show you how to use this method to display a different menu for logged in users compared to logged out users. You can see that you start by creating a new FEUP user, then test whether they're logged in or not. If they're logged in, you display the logged in menu. If they're not, you display the logged out menu. These menus are simply created using the menus part of the appearance menu in the WordPress backend. Another popular method is getFieldValue, which returns the value of a particular field for a user. This can be used to display different content depending on a user's profile. For example, if you had a field called Interest with options like lighting, flooring, cabinets, and others for a home decorating site, you could use this method to display only posts that match a user's interests in a news feed. You can use the method like so. Again, you create an FUP user using the class, and then retrieve their interests using the get field value. We'll turn their interest into an array using explode, and then check whether lighting is in that array. If it is, then we'll display posts in the lighting category here. Finally, there are four helper methods that can be used to extend the functionality of the plugin in almost any way imaginable. They are get username, get user ID, get field value for ID, and get username for ID. They're pretty self-explanatory, but we'll go through them below. First, you create an FUP user once again. Next, you can use the get user ID method to retrieve that user's ID. We can also retrieve the username using the get username method. On the other hand, we could use the get username for ID method and get the username from the user's ID. Finally, we can get the field value if we know the user ID and the field name. Using the available methods, just about all of a user's data can be accessed in your theme or function files to extend the functionality of the plugin to every aspect of your site. To find out how to do more with the plugin, continue watching the tutorial videos in this series. The Front End Users plugin is available for free download from WordPress.org, and the premium version is available through our website, a12webdesign.com.